Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I tried to build, uh, make a first test for a spot welder. So it's my first YouTube project, my first YouTube video. And as you can hear, I'm not a native English speaker, but I try to do my best just talking English to get a bigger audience, however. So what I try to do is building a spot welder, making some tests before I go ahead and build a real machine. Um, I looked up many videos on YouTube and tried to find out how to manage things. I found that uh, many of you guys have modified uh, uh, microwave transformers uh, to get a low voltage and high amps um, for the welding machine. So what I tried to do right now is um, going through a test. I stripped down some uh, transformers from microwave ovens uh, which I got very cheap in the internet and I removed, uh, removed the secondary winding and replace that by a thick cable, 70 square millimeters uh, to handle the current. I did find out some problems and I tried to explain during the videos how to get rid of it and what the outcome is later on and uh, how I plan to go ahead with the final project, uh, which modifications I would like to do. Okay, so guys, have fun. First of all, I did buy some uh, microwave ovens out of a big auction house in the internet. Um, I did buy two of them because I, I need, needed two transformers. First step is to put everything apart, get the external housing off, um, just to get access uh, to the ports we need. Now the cover comes off and here you can see already the transformer that's what we need for our spot welder. Next step is getting rid of all the wiring, all the cables. Make sure that this one is not connected to 220 volts as you work inside could turn out quite bad. So then disassemble the transformer from the microwave oven. It's always a good idea to test the parts before you build something so I tested the primary coil and that seemed to be pretty okay. As this is a transformer uh, for microwaves um, this is getting the 220 volts we're usually using uh, up to several thousand volts. We do need it exactly the opposite way so we remove the secondary coil. I'm using a hacksaw there and then replacing the secondary coil by a very thick wires, only two, two windings to get a low voltage but high current output. Yeah, you have to be very careful not to cut into the lower one, into the uh, lower section of, of the transformer, otherwise that's the end of the day. So now we get rid of the secondary coils just punch it out with a hammer. Again, very careful. We don't want to damage the primary coils there.
As this only has been a test, I mounted uh, all the components on a wooden board. So for the final version, it will be then nicely in a metal frame. But again, that's just the first test right now to prove if it works or not. And as you can see, I mounted the two transformers in a row. And uh, I'm not using two independent coils for each transformer. I'm putting the 70 square millimeters uh, welding wire through both transformers at the same time. That will save some space and, and external wiring makes it a little bit easier for to build. Here you can see the wiring of the primary coil. As we are using two transformers, I wired them in parallel and now that's the first test. Oh, oops. Oh, the main fuse went off because the transformer, by just switching it on, went into saturation. It poured a lot of power at the initial uh, switch on. So I decided to build in a resistor 47 ohms for the first 0.1 second to limit the current to the uh, system and after 0.1 second the relay is switching the full power. So till then uh, I haven't had a problem with uh, popping the main fuse. Um, that's the first measurement of the voltage. Turns out to be 4.3 volt on the secondary but 220 on the primary. It's a little high 4.3 uh, but should be good enough for welding. Finally so, the first okay. test and that's looking pretty good so it was roughly one and a half to two seconds uh, weld time um, two shittle metals uh, with 0.8 millimeters and that's the pop-out test you can see um, it was not the weld which was breaking it was uh, the material surrounding it so the weld itself has been perfect okay now you have seen that it works at least we have done some pretty nice welds, uh, at least I have done five. The problems I had then that the primary coil overheated and started to create some smoke, so I stopped welding for now. Um, I do not have a current limiter in there, so I'm afraid that uh, I overheat the transformers and the primary coils, coils will burn out and <laughs> that's then the end of the story. So the next step would be, because th those are 900 watts uh, transformers, the next step would be to include a uh, current limiter which is already here, but then I might not have enough power um, to do uh, proper buildings. Um, anyhow, that's the next step. Should the power not be enough, uh, so I will end up at 1800 watts in total if I limit the current to, to the current uh, the primary core can take. 
then it might not be sufficient to weld thicker materials like 1mm steel or what we have done so far. A uh, solution could be, as I am building a stationary machine, to include one or two more transformers uh, just to distribute the load in between of them and uh, by just using four transformers I could come out with almost 3200-400 watts um, with an input current of, of a maximum um, 900 watts for each transformer. So that should work, that's the next trial. Um, I have to take that apart again and uh, try it again. So check it out, um, hope to be online again soon with the next solution. If you like it, just hit the button, um, if you don't like it, forget about it. Thanks for watching.